Hello and welcome to the Super Data Science YouTube channel. My name's David and today we're going to be looking at the Zoo Package. If you haven't seen the first video on the Zoo Package or the Dplyr series, check those out on the YouTube channel first. We're going to be using the Nottam dataset, which is a dataset preloaded in R and is of the temperatures of Nottingham. First of all, we're going to convert this to a data frame, as it's currently a time series object. So we'll do data equals data.frame. We'll create the temperature variable, which equals as.matrix notum. And then we'll create the date variable. And date equals as.date time notum. Well, if we run that, we'll get an error because at the moment we're using base as dot date. But if we load our zoo package, we can see that we'll get a new as dot date from zoo. And if we run that, our date format now works. So let's have a look at the head of our data set. We now have our temperatures and our dates. Now, what we want to do is have a look and see which quarter has the highest temperatures. So we're going to add the quarter of the year. So we have data quarter, which equals quarters of data date. And now we're going to plot this to see if we can see which quarter has the highest months in. So we'll use ggplot. So we'll make sure we've loaded all of our packages. So ggplot data, our aesthetic is date versus temperature. And our color is going to be our quarter. And we're going to create a line chart. We can see here it's quite messy, it's quite difficult to see whether quarter, quarter one or quarter four is hotter or not. So what we need to do is we're going to create a rolling mean so we can smooth these lines out. So we'll do data equals data, pipe that into group by we're going to group by quarter, so this means our rolling average is going to be calculated within the group of quarter. So it'll be the rolling average just for Q1, rather than the rolling average based on the current order for the whole data set. So mutate, because we're adding a new variable. We'll do temp underscore quarter. And then it's roll mean of temperature. We're going to do it three wide, fill equals NA, and we'll align right. So now we have our rolling average temperature. We're going to replot, and we're going, but this time we're going to plot our rolling average temperature rather than our temperature. So we'll copy down our previous plot and we just change temperature to temp underscore quarter. Now we plot it and we can see that it's a lot smoother. It's very easy to see that quarter one is actually a lot colder than quarter four. I hope this has been a really useful video. If it has, don't forget to share and like it and subscribe to the channel.